All right, y'all, so I got a lot of people asking me on my YouTube video. They're like, hey, man, why do you curse a lot? Why do you, you know, why are you always cursing? That's foul, man. It's taken away from the message, man. Be positive. This is that. And the reason I do, because it's a wake up call. Like when I tell someone to stop fucking eating Starbucks or stop drinking Frappuccinos every fucking morning, that's different than if I'm like, hey, you shouldn't drink that. Because in society, a lot of our issues stem from being lied to. A lot of us are lied to. I'm, I'm answering messages, my bad. But a lot of us are just being lied to consistently. And that's the reason everybody's pissed, right? Men are, are told to be, you know, soft, weak, um, very feminine, open up their emotions and, you know, marry the first girl that gives them attention, all this stuff. And that's what's leading to the high divorce rates, right? Because we're lying to people, right? Girls don't want a feminine, soft man, right? Of course, they want you to be strong and express your emotions every once in a while, but they don't want, they don't want to be somebody you complain to about like, oh my God, I don't know what to do, and just be like super soft and feminine, right? And then a lot of us are telling, you know, women, if you want to be happy and get married, just focus on your career when that's not true either, right? So we got a lot of lies going around. And then a lot of times, as related to fitness, right? We are telling people constantly like, yeah, you can eat whatever you want to, it's fine. You, do, you can eat whatever you want to, just enjoy it, right? Body positivity. When in every fucking nation in the world, besides the United States, people know that obviously excess fat equals higher risk of every fucking disease, basically, right? Type two diabetes is higher in America because we eat whatever the fuck we want to. Hypertension is higher in America. Hyperlipidemia, higher in America. Heart disease, higher in America. All these issues, obesity, higher in America. It literally says by 2030, we'll have like 50% obesity, right? We already have 70% that are overweight or obese in America. That, that, is, that doesn't include the skinny fat people who have a lot of abdomen you know, fat, right? So that's one of our issues. We're constantly being told to like, hey, just eat a little better. That doesn't fucking help, right? You gotta really hold people accountable. I'm here to hold people accountable. Like, let's be honest. If you ever played football or, I don't know how the military is, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty strict. But if you ever played football, you know that if you make a mistake, the coach isn't gonna be like, that's fine. Let's try it again. You're not gonna take it seriously, right? You're gonna be like, okay, I guess I can make mistakes. He doesn't care. When your coach gets in your face, like my coach was, I messed up, right? So I was playing DB back in high school. I was garbage, so I got yelled at a lot. All right, so I was only good at hitting. I was only good at hitting, so they put me a linebacker. When I was playing DB, I was trying to cover someone, right? I got absolutely destroyed. The coach ran on the field. He said, don't ever fucking do that bullshit again. What the fuck, nigga? And he just cussed me out like that, and it was like, okay, that's a wake-up call. Let me tighten up. Let me get my shit together. For me, like, for me to get my brother in shape, right, I told him, like, I wasn't like, hey, man, you should probably eat a little bit better. He would have been like, nah, I'm okay. I was like, yo, you're getting fucking fat, bro. So what's the energy that you that you approach things with, like, you're taking it seriously. I take this shit seriously. I'm very passionate about it. So sometimes I guess I'll cuss and it, it'll come out, but I want to be raw. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to coddle anybody. I don't want to be like, hey, you can, yeah, you can have cheat days whenever you want to. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's really fun to have cheat days. Like, fuck that shit, yo. That's the reason everybody is out of shape and soft as shit. Like, that's literally the reason, right? And then people, the people have the audacity to be like, um, no, but you could eat whatever you want to. Yeah, if you play in the NFL or you're an NBA player, eat whatever you want to. You're super active. But for the average person who's sitting down all day, telling them that it's fine to go to McDonald's is what propels them to be 100 plus pounds overweight. And now they're taking a lot of medication. We have a problem in society where we think the cure to type 2 diabetes is taking medication. That is not a cure. That's trying to put a Band-Aid on something that needs fucking surgery. We all know that shit, right? I said that in my last video. Like seriously, we need, to, we need to take our health more seriously. It's not an option. We all take health as an option. Like, oh, wow, I like this video. He told me I should do this to lose belly fat. I'll think about it. No, you're supposed to be doing that shit because the more belly fat you gain, the higher risk is for metabolic syndrome. Like I said, metabolic syndrome, which includes everything I just said, right? The hypertension, hyperlipidemia, all that stuff. And that's the problem we have. We need to go back to Eastern medicine, to be honest, right? Western medicine, for the most part, when it comes to shit like that, is ass. Now, they do put in your discharge paperwork. If you ever look at your discharge paperwork, which nobody does, they're always gonna put avoid these unhealthy foods for almost everything because that's, that's the source of everything. Like most of your issues stem from what you're consuming, right? And you not being active enough. Those things would really help. But I'm just trying to give everyone a wake up call because I don't know what is going on with like health, but like people just blindly take all these medications and they never change their lifestyle. It is crazy to me if someone was born healthy, they're healthy when they're like 24, they have no hypertension, no family history of it. Maybe their mom takes a medication every once in a while, but they continue to be unhealthy, unhealthy, unhealthy to the point where now they're on type two diabetic medication, right? And they're ignoring any advice to change their lifestyle. They're on hyperlipidemic medication. They're on hypertensive medication, all these medications, which they wouldn't be on if they just changed their lifestyle habits, right? So it's very fucking serious. And a lot of people are dying from obesity. It's like the third leading cause of death, but it also leads to a lot of different things. Like I said, type two diabetes, 
If you just had type 2 diabetes and then it kind of didn't have any side effects, cool. But obviously it's going to lead into kidney disease down the road and, you know, amputations, things like that. And it's something you can control. And I think it's very important to put that message out as much as you can. So anybody, I know someone asked me about, what do you think about Eddie Abu, Abu I think his name is? Um, at least he's helping, at least if you do what he says, at least you're making progress and at least he's helping people. I prefer that over medical advice because people think what he's saying is crazy, but he's basically saying high protein calorie deficit. I know it's pretty extreme, but I rather his extreme than telling people eat whatever you want to all this chemical bullshit and take medication. You're just saying, right? We need more people who are like telling people the truth. The truth is not pretty. It's not what you want to hear. And that's what turns a lot of people off, right? So you don't want to hear cuss words. You don't want to hear the truth. This might not be a channel because I have to tell the truth when it comes to, you know, losing fat in general. Like there is no, like you're not just going to be skipping down the field and eating fucking uh, cupcakes and losing fat. That's just not going to happen. All right. And you're not going to, you're not going to spend every day making these long ass recipes on, you know, from TikTok, from Instagram. You're going to have to lock in, focus, Lock in focus, change your lifestyle for the better, because literally it's, it's your responsibility to take care of yourself. That is the bare minimum. Like brushing your teeth is something you do every day. That's the bare minimum as well. Working out and eating healthy should be bare minimum. When I say eat healthy, people, get, people are like, what the fuck? You're eating unhealthy. You're not supposed to do that. Why is it called unhealthy? Because it's not healthy. What does not healthy mean? Fucking not good. Like why, why, do, I have to, why do I have to say, hey man, like maybe you should eat this, this, that. Oh, no, I would never eat high protein. That's not good for my kidneys. I'm like, okay, cool. Continue to drink liquor and uh, eat the shit that you're eating, I guess. Like, why is that a thing? And, and another thing is the health officials are all out of shape, right? I'll probably post some right here. The health officials are all out of shape. They're telling us what to eat and they're eating fucking McDonald's, right? Another thing is the RDA. If you follow the RDA, the recommended guidelines, they don't have any protein in there. They want you to eat cereal for breakfast and shit like that. Obviously, that's why we have type 2 diabetes, because people are kind of listening to that as a kid, but then they're picking up bad habits as well. And obviously, there's a lot of bad influences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know there's bad influences. But you make the decision at the end of the day. Like, my, my channel is meant for people to realize that you have control of your journey. Because if you're, if you're the one responsible for gaining the weight, that means you're responsible for losing the weight, which is very, very empowering to know you're the one that caused the weight gain. It sounds horrible, but in retrospect, when you're like, oh, I did cause the weight gain, which means I could cause the weight loss. You feel me? Like when you take that control, it's way better. But at the same time, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, yeah. So many people are like, oh my God, like I'm just overweight because of this is that. Listen, like I said, one of the first signs of being unhealthy is literally excess fat because it's just not good for you and you're going to feel more sluggish. Like I'm not going to encourage you. The reason I'm not going to encourage body, body positivity, of course, love yourself and love yourself throughout the journey. But I don't want anyone to stay stagnant if they're on like blood pressure medications and all that stuff. Like I've helped a lot of people get off blood pressure medications, you know, high cholesterol medications. And they thought that was the norm. They're like, it's genetic in my family. I was like, no, your family habits are genetic and they're eating a lot of fried foods, you know, seafood, heavier foods. That's why all your family has these, you know, hyperlipidemia and type 2 diabetes. It's not because it's genetic. All right. Because type 1 is genetic, type 2 isn't. So. I just want people to realize that you have control over that shit. That's very, I feel like that's an important message. So that's the only reason I say it because like a lot of people are asleep at the wheel. They do not even fucking know that they have control over this shit. So like when I talk to them, they're like, he's like over positive. Maybe he's just, maybe he's just optimistic or maybe he's delusional. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, she can easily get off these medications. She's delusional. You feel me? So then I get her to see, you know, she's able to get off these medications. She gets off the medications. We're both happy because now she's healthier and she realizes that she, if she puts the stuff in her body, she'll have more control over it. Same thing for dudes, man. Like, that's why, that's why I do the training. And it, a lot of you guys don't even know because I guess I don't say that in the channel, but I'm a nurse too, guys. So, like, when I, when I go to nursing homes and stuff, I'll see a lot of younger people. Like, I thought nursing homes were 65 and up, but sometimes a 57-year-old sneaks in there or a 60-year-old sneaks in there because, you know, their lifestyle habits were so bad that at this point now they have kidney disease. And if you have kidney disease and, you know, you have a lot of stomach fat and now you have type 2, you have just a lot of comorbidities, right? So I would see that all the time and I'm like, I don't like that I'm just giving the medication. It really bothered me to give the medication when I'm like, dude, I shouldn't be giving this dude, like, they gave him grape juice for breakfast, so now... When I check his sugar, of course, it's going to be high as fuck. When in reality, they should have just not gave him grape juice, right? Or they give them sugar free. You know, they, they still have way too many carbs, and way too much sugar. And they're not very active because they're just, you know, they're just laying in their bed all day. Like, why can't we take them outside instead of giving them vitamin D? We give them a vitamin D pill when the sun is literally chilling right there, right? We can't push them outside and put them in there because we don't have enough staff. So I really got frustrated with the system. I really, really got frustrated with the system. I'm like, why can't I actually help people? Like, I am putting band-aids over everyone's shit the entire shift. I'm not... I'm not changing their mindset and I'm not changing their life in a, in a better aspect. And then a lot of different nursing homes I'll go to because during COVID, I went to probably 
10 nursing homes, 10 detoxes. I was just like bouncing around doing agency. So I noticed that like everything is just a quick fix and it's like everyone's taking shortcuts, like everyone's taking shortcuts, right? Just because that makes the most money and that's the fastest, but that's not the best. The fastest isn't always the best. If we can sit down with each patient, right? And really tell them what they need to work on and tell them why everything's happening, then they wouldn't be a recurring patient, which I guess is bad for the medical system, but they wouldn't be a recurring patient because they would understand why they have those things and understand that it's not genetic, right? So that's pretty much why I talk about this stuff because nutrition and exercise are your first line of defense. Obviously there's, there's things out there we cannot control, but unfortunately majority of the things that, you know, majority of the diseases and reasons people go to hospital, at least half of it, at least half of the reason, at least half of the reason is just because of the poor nutrition and poor exercise habits. Like a lot of people are like, I don't know what's going on. Like I need to take Ozempic, I need to lose weight. It's like, you're fucking eating McDonald's. That's why you're gaining weight. And no Ozempic is not gonna, cancel out McDonald's. And if you hire a trainer, ignore everything they say, you're not gonna get the results. Does that surprise you? And if you have liposuction surgery, then you eat like shit afterwards, you're gonna gain the weight back. Does that surprise you? Like shit like that, like it's too much bullshit. There's too much sugar coating in this society. And like I said, if you told everybody straightforward what's, what's going on and what they need to hear, people would be very, very happy. Like I've told, I've told dudes, like I've talked to dudes on a, on a call, consultation calls and they were surprised they're like yeah girls told me like the girls at work told me that they don't mind a guy who's overweight so I was overweight but I feel like they like leaner guys I'm like duh they like leaner guys it's a sign of health like every girl's gonna like leaner guys on social media they're gonna be like oh I like these big boys in real life they're gonna be sleeping with all the leaner guys right it's just that's just how it works it's basic shit and then for women women are like guys don't really care about my like I would talk to them on the phone they'd be like they don't really care about my job like I make six figures but they don't care about my job I'm like obviously not because your money is your money and their money is both of your money, but all, at the same time, that's not what they're attracted to. They're not gonna be attracted to you being, you know, masculine. They're gonna be attracted to you being feminine, right? So a lot of that stuff, like people don't really understand because we lie to them 24 seven, all right? And then a lot of people that I've talked to, they were like, oh yeah, I fasted and I did keto, but I didn't lose weight. I was like, what were you eating? And they're like, well, when I was, when I was fasting, I was kind of breaking my fast and, you know, eating some donuts and then some pizza. I'm like, yeah, it still matters what you eat when you're fasting. And then, you know, the people who did keto, I'm like, obviously if you do something that you can't sustain, it's not gonna work long-term, you know? So just shifting people's mindset on those aspects and showing them that it is possible. And like what you have right now is enough to get to where you need to get to is like mind, like life changing for a lot of people. So that's what I pretty much wanna talk on is talk about on this channel. Um, it's just like how you have control, like where you are right now with whatever equipment you have. I've had, I've literally had a client, she lost over 150, she's still losing, but she lost over 150, and what does she have? Dumbbells and a treadmill. That's it, right? And what did she do before she came to me? She did some keto. What did I tell her to do? Eat some carbs. She was doing an hour of cardio a day. What did I make her do? One day, 30 minutes cardio. Warm up on other days, 10 minutes cardio. Nothing crazy. But she was like, damn, compared to what I used to do, this is way easier, way more sustainable. She was like, there's no way this is gonna fucking work. And then it started working. She's like, gotta be an accident. Then it kept working. She's like, oh shit. So sustainability is key as well, guys. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Like, comment, subscribe. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Ha 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 ha.